Hi, Jeffers and Red Rock United Methodist Church family, as well as others that are watching as well this vlog. Um, I just wanted to come to you and, and share with you a, a little um, a little bit of my, my past. Uh, I, I'm, yeah, over my shoulder here is a towel. And if you notice the towel, it's got some Greek letters on it. It was given to me around oh, 36 years ago, somewhere in that, that ballpark. I was in seminary at the time. And and, and I joined a, a group called the Low Society, and I, I'm, I'm not going to go into exactly what all, all that was about, but it was a, it was a very informative and it was a very um, significant group for me. And the leader of that group was uh, the Reverend Dr. Robert or Bob Lyon. And um, Bob and I became pretty good friends over uh, three years, really, that I was a part of that group. And in fact, um, uh, Bob married Pam and I as well. Ma Pam joined that group later on uh, the last year um, that, I, that I was there, we were there at seminary. And so, and one of the things that Bob did uh, for those who joined the group, um, and that it was, it was to, it, to, um, to demonstrate to us that to be a leader in the church, we needed to be a servant. And uh, of course, he spoke of the passage in, in John where Jesus um, takes off you know, his robe and he takes a towel and a basin and he washes the disciples' feet and says, you cannot, you cannot be a part of me unless, uh, unless you let me serve you, unless you let me, me do this to you. And, and, and Bob wanted that to come across to us. And it was a part of really what the group was about was about serving others. And, and so when he would wash our feet and then gave us this towel and his wife, Judy, um, stitched the, the, the stitches here. And, and there's are three Greek word letters um, that begin uh, specific words and the, and the meaning behind them. The delta is the first word and that stands for doulos as the beginning word, the letter of the doulos word. The, the, what looks like an I to us is an iota in Greek. And it was the beginning of uh, the word Jesus, or what we know of as Jesus. So the doulos is about servant, um, and Jesus is Jesus. And then the chi, you might recognize it, looks like an X to us, but it's, it's the Greek chi. And chi is the first letter of the word Christos, um, which is Christ. And so servant of Jesus Christ is, is the meaning behind it. And and I've kept it all these years, and, and it, it has a very special place for me. And it's a reminder to me um, that that is who I am. And that's who any believer in Jesus Christ needs to be. We are living on this earth not for ourselves. We are living on this earth as a servant of the Most High God and as a servant of those around us. And, and that's what Jesus demonstrated to us. That's what Jesus showed even all the way up to the point of dying on the cross for us. And during this time of COVID-19, this t uncertain time that we live in, it's really important for us to remember this phrase. I think it's going to get worse. I, I think um, it's going to get more and more difficult. And people are begin will begin to get more and more uh, testy. And, and I, I'm afraid that, that people may begin to act out in, in really harmful and bad ways. And as believers in Jesus Christ, we need to make sure that we do not do that. We need to make sure that we stay as, as servants of Christ, no matter what it is. There's a phrase that Bob used all the time, and I've started using it, and I mentioned that I would tell you about it, and that phrase is peace and towels. And so uh, I'm beginning to, 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 um, to use that as a, a closing greeting, really, peace and towels. And it really means, and really important, I think, for this time of uncertainty, that in the midst of uncertainty, we can have peace in God. We know that we have a peace with God. And because of that, no matter what happens in this world, no matter what happens during COVID-19 even, and, and it can be pretty bad, even death itself, we can have peace with God. We can live in a midst of peace and that we need to seek that, that well-being, that, that certainty that God is in control. And we're all right with that even if it goes in ways that we don't want to see. And, and it may, and for some people it certainly will. But we can live in a peace with God. And then as we live in that peace, we then can be servants. You know, that peace gives us the ability. When we trust God fully, no matter what happens, we can serve then. We serve God out of that, that, that heart of trust, but then we serve others. 
I don't need that toilet paper. <laughs> you know, I can let someone else have that toilet paper if that's necessary or or that parking place or or whatever it might be. And it, we don't know exactly what all, all it may be. To live as that servant, how can I reach out to someone in the midst of this uncertainty? Because I am at peace with God. How can I share that with someone else? So I, I pray that that is uh, something that, that you can continue to live in, especially in this uncertain time of COVID-19. So it's Pastor Wes, peace and towels.